everyone, I'm Colleen with Awaken Catholic and this is Awaken the Saint. Have you ever heard someone say something you knew was wrong and wanted to correct them? It's often a struggle deciding what to do in those situations. Do you avoid sticking your neck out and let it go? Or do you speak up and risk making somebody angry? Today's saint, Cyril of Jerusalem, didn't shy away from making his thoughts known, and he was willing to pay the price for it more than once. Cyril was born around 315, though the exact year isn't certain. We don't know a whole lot about his childhood and early life, but we do know that he was born during a troubling time for the church. Politics and debate were all too common. In particular, followers of a priest named Arius were spreading the Arian heresy, the idea that Jesus was not fully divine. After being ordained a deacon around the age of 20 and then a priest at 28, Cyril joined the fight against the Arian heresy. He began by writing a set of lessons to be taught to catechumens both before and and after baptism, and included information on the problems with Arianism. In 348, Cyril was ordained a bishop by Archbishop Acacius, who just so happened to agree with the Arian heresy and probably believed Cyril did too. Conflict arose almost immediately between the two, as Cyril spoke out against Arianism and declared the region of Jerusalem he oversaw as independent from Acacius. Acacius put together a group of supporters and called Cyril to a council. He likely hoped to persuade or otherwise force the bishop into complying with their wishes. Cyril, however, flatly refused to take part in the council. Growing desperate, Acacius charged Cyril with contumacy, that is, refusing to comply with authority, as well as with selling church property. Both charges were technically legitimate, though Cyril had only ever sold property in an effort to provide for the poor during a time of famine. Condemned by the council that Acacius had rigged, he was forced out of Jerusalem, but he wasn't about to give up. Cyril appealed to a higher court to have his banishment revoked, waiting patiently for two years for the appeal to go through. This new council was not nearly as skewed as the previous one. Not only was the previous ruling overturned, but Acacius was also deposed. That wasn't the end of the struggle, though. Acacius convinced the Roman emperor to hold another council in which he managed to have Cyril kicked out, once again on some absurd charge with little substance. The emperor's successor repealed the exile of Cyril, among several others, but his successor repealed that repeal. So Cyril ended up being banished from Jerusalem three times before he was permanently reinstated around 378. Cyril returned to a broken Jerusalem, rife with heresy and crime, but he was able to help begin the process of healing at the Second Ecumenical Council in Constantinople, where several forms of Arianism were finally, officially condemned. It's not easy to speak up for what we believe in, and sometimes it's even harder when it concerns our faith. It's scary to think we might be persecuted just for saying what we think, but people need to hear the truth, and they'll only get that chance if someone brings it up, the way Cyril did. Saint Cyril of Jerusalem, pray for us. Thank you for tuning in to Awaken the Saint.